Yo, what's up, you goddamn jabronis? Welcome back to episode two of Canvas in five minutes. And I'm looking right now, five minutes on the clock. Yesterday, uh, we covered um, Canvas basics, getting your Canvas set up, drawing to it, um, and like the fill rect and fill tech me methods of a, a Canvas rendering context. Um, today, we're going to get into more granular drawing in the five minutes that we have. And as always, the subscribe button. Fucking slap that shit. Let's roll. So over here, uh, we have our canvas that we jacked out of the HTML, and we have our canvas context, right? Um, and just like yesterday, we go and we set a fill style. This is the color that we're drawing with, right? So I can say uh, fill style equals, let's do papaya whip. That's a fun word to say. All right. So um, outside of making rectangles and text, you can draw all kinds of shit with Canvas. Um, one thing that I'd like to show is a circle, right? So we can say ctx.arc, right? And this is how you draw a circle. If you look at this beautiful tooltip that Code Sandbox gives us, um, it shows you the arguments here. You have x, y, radius, start angle, end angle, and anti-clockwise. I don't think I've ever used anti-clockwise, but I, I guess that sends the arc in the other direction. I don't know. I don't really use circles that much either, so fuck it. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's draw a circle, right? We're going to start at uh, 50x and 300y, and that's going to put us down at like the bottom left of our canvas, which is 400 by 400. Let's say uh, 50 pixel radius. Start angle is almost always zero if you're drawing circles, and then we're going to say math.pi times two, right? And that gives us a circle, except it doesn't because it's not fill rect or fill text. This is just drawing paths, make-believe paths that don't exist until you call ctx.fill. And there we have a circle, a pie whip. Um, and then if you wanted to make another one, right, you could say ctx.arc, right? And then uh, let's make one directly adjacent to it, right? We could say uh, 125, <clears throat> 300, uh, 50, math.pi times two. And then we're gonna call ctx dot fill once again, right? Because they're two separate paths. Now you have two circles and look, they intersect with one another, but it's not immediately clear because they're the same color. Um, <clears throat> in addition to drawing circles, you can do other things, right? You can um, you can move your, your paintbrush around without drawing. Um, you can also draw lines and arcs. So let's look at that. So first what we're gonna do is if we're here, we're gonna move our drawer, like if we're on like an Etch-A-Sketch or something to 50 by 300. Right, which brings us uh, right to the top of that left circle, right? And then we can do what's called a line to. Now, if we want to see our drawing, let's throw a ctx.stroke down here. Hey, now. Um, <clears throat> it's doing everything, right? And that's because the path is still open. So up here, we can call begin path um, to start a, a separate drawing path. Now, I can say line to 50-50, uh, right? And that we've moved to 50, 300, X and Y, and now I'm drawing a line to 50, 50, right? So that is how um, you can do these individual path granular pieces, right? <clears throat> um, let's say we wanted to draw a curved line. We could use the arc two method, right? Which is X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and then radius, right? So we can say like 90 and 10, 125 and 50 with a 50 pixel radius just like that right and we draw this sweet curved line let's bring it back down and we can say ctx line to 125 300 boom look at that a line right back down now what's an important piece is we can close that path right um and, or you know instead of a stroke uh we can call a fill boom Look at that, and it fills the area that we drew. So if you want to draw things that aren't just rectangles, uh, this is the way to do it. And then, you know, it, it all applies to the current context. So, right, I could, I could say tan, we could say green, get our Hulk on, um, however you want to do it. Uh, but that is my five minutes for the day. That's uh, granular path drawing, and tomorrow we're going to get into this even more fun stuff. Thanks so much. I'm Ken Wheeler. Hit that fucking subscribe button and holler at your boy.